Wow, pyramid ruined. Crimes, crimes have been committed right at the beginning of stream. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Happy Monday. As we have previously discussed, Aymon is on a break uh, for a while, probably at least a couple months. We're going to play Dawn Trail. That's going to be doing for at least a couple weeks of Dawn Trail. Um, we are on level 92. I need to turn my damn sound up. Um, you may notice that the mic's a little bit different. It is a different mic right now. 14 hours of 14? No, that was on Friday. We're not doing that today. I have work tomorrow. Um, you may notice that the it sounds a little bit different. We're on a different mic for a hot second. Or mic input. Mic input for a hot second because for a certain side quest that we're not doing today, but we are probably going to end up doing later. Hello, this is the voice of the corn servant. Obey me. Eat my kernels. Consume corn related products. I'm gonna hope that worked. All right, let me go back to the regular input. Let me go back to the regular input for now. Here we go, crisp, cr uh, crispy, beautiful audio. That's what we need right this second. We don't need, um, we don't need the corn serving just yet. We're just big chilling. Look at us, big chilling by the beach. It's a beautiful day. We got our jazzy lounge music, um, and, but we're going to go run away and we got to go do our roll quest in Ralgar's Reach next. So we're going to go over to Alamigo, Gervania rather, we're going to the Reach. All right. By the way, welcome on in everybody. Darjo Linkling, Neo Neko, Dio Mexo. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, yeah, we're just big chilling side questing today. No MSQ. MSQ will happen on. Oh wait, hold on. I have mail. Hold on, I have mail. Uh, MSQ is going to resume on Wednesday. Not even tomorrow. I need a break. I'm wearing glasses because my eyes need a break. I think I have a tiny cut on my eyelid. Um. And my hands in pain. It's been hurting since yesterday, so um, I think maybe we may have done overdone it on Friday with 14 hours followed by eight hours on Saturday. You know what? It's fine. We're okay. We're live. Um, what at the harbor? Combat zone. Who? Okay. Anyway, um, they're talking about jump puzzles. Apparently, I missed one. We'll find it later. I got mail! Oh, it's our pre-order shit! Heck yeah! What time on Wednesday? You'll try to go earlier because that's your drawing stream day? Um, good question! If I had to guess, I'd probably say around 7.30 to 8. Which we would have started earlier today also. Like, I was... I could have been ready half an hour earlier. But you know what I was doing? I was sticking around with the voice mod. What is this? Oh, brush. Cool. I was dicking around with the voice mod and like trying to find just the perfect voice for the corn servant. So that's what happened. These new headphones are, I got new pads for my headphones. Um, Cause the old ones were like hella coming off. These ones like they fit a little too perfect. So I kind of hear echoey. Oh gosh. I also like can't tell how loud sound is outside of my headphones. So it's very secure and I can't hear other things. I guess they're like meant to be noise canceling. Um, but I hear myself too well. Like I echo in my head internally when I'm talking. That's weird. So I'm like trying to like off center it a little bit so I can just hear myself not in my head, but in my outside. That makes any sense. Anyway. They're good. They're just a little too good, and it weirds me out. I'm not used to it yet. Okay, anyway, we gotta talk to people. We're trying to get information to find whoever the heck it is we're looking for, because we don't really know. 
The camera app, by the way, also had an update today, so I'm trying- I have to refiddle with it now. And I think I need to redo my lighting setup too, like... I'm really bright right now. I need to fix it. <laughs> Bear with me, we'll figure this out. Alright, anyway. Oh, we're looking for a mumble doll girl. That's right, that's right. Who are we talking to? Germain. Yeah, I met the Mumble Jill. Mumble Jill. Mumble Jaw. Oof. Mumble Jaw girl you're after? She was looking for a tall, thin man. Some sort of thief, apparently. It sounded a bit like the leader of a gang of bandits that lurks around Vir Virja Virjala, so I told her as much. Chances are that's where she's headed. I hope she stays out of trouble. Perhaps I shouldn't have told her about that bandit leader. For all I know, it could be a completely different person. And also not be a different person. How's my tattoo look in this? It does look kind of neat with this decoration here. Makes it a little bit different. That's cool. Someday I'm gonna get that tattoo IRL. Someday. I need to go to a hot spring first before I get banned from going to hot springs for having a tattoo. A mom old jaw, you say? That's what happened. She came over here while I was cleaning the cannons. It is really cool looking. She showed me an empty Eric bottle and said she was looking for the bloke it belonged to. Thing is, that brand's found all over all amigos, so I wasn't able to help her narrow down her search. That young lady cer was certainly well-mannered, but didn't seem to know much about what goes on around here. I take it she's new to the region? Oh, that sound is you cleaning the cannon! I was like, what the fuck is that? Ah, Snake Lady, of course. Yes, I saw the Mamujal on my patrols, but he carried an enormous axe. Not at all like the person you'd describe. Someone with an enormous axe? We do not often see Mamujal in these parts, so I remember the man I spotted quite clearly. I could tell the axe was of his was not merely for decoration. All right. Oh, we gotta go to... Yeah, Virjala. Wherever the heck that is. Oh, that's like right under there. It's only 70? Hell yeah, that's worth it. I'm lazy. I'm so used to being a hundo. Oh, it's because we have reduced rates on. Ah ha 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 ha. All right. A waylaid merchant? Are you a potato? You look small. Yeah, that's a potato. You okay, buddy? Ouch! Here, let me apply some of this ointment. It's a common remedy where I come from. Are you here to lend me a hand? This poor soul was attacked by highwaymen, and I could use some help tending to his wounds. What do I look like? A healer? I'm a dancer! I guess I do have curing walls. I'll dance for you, it'll make you feel better and lift your spirits. Don't worry about me, it's my escort who's in trouble. He's in pursuit of the thieves and I fear he's bitten off more than he can chew. Please, will you aid him? I'm off! Committing murder is what dancers do! Wait. Is it? No. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're da supposed to dance and... i well, happy. I'm so here for my anime supervillains. Oh. You do have a mumble jaw with you. You thieving bastards! Uh-oh. Help them! Of the... 
I don't know. Is that a turtle? What? A, I don't remember what it is. Oh, uh, never mind. It was a was the armadillo. The dillo. Armadillo. Armadillo. What? Well, how? It's called a barrier, dude. Behold! Oh, he's ho hofty. Hotty? Ho How do you pronounce that? Hofty? Hofty. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of divine intervention to tip the scales in my favor. With this artifact in my hands, I am invincible. I dance all over your corpses! Another one, eh? Not that it matters. Kakulja, it is time you earned your coin. I appreciate the assistance, but he wasn't joking about divine intervention. Some strange force pushed me away. I can't even get near him. But I see the glowing bubble. Do you not see the glowing bubble? Is this an aether sensitivity thing? Or is this like a, uh, the warrior, like, player only can see this kind of thing? Steelhog vessel, return it at once and the stolen goods. Why are you backing off? You two know each other? You mad, bro? That guy ain't here to fight other Mumble Jaw. <laughs> you followed me all the way out here from your backwater village. Alas, your journey has been for naught. The vessel is mine. I shalto feet shalto feet. Oh, I fucking hate French sometimes. Shalto feet. Feet? It's got the e at the end, so you pronounce the t, right? Shalto feet will make better use of this artifact than you or your ilk ever could. By the might bestowed upon me, I will become the savior of the oppressed and destitute. In light of my grand ambitions, the vessel's power would be wasted on the likes of you. If you cannot hunt without it, might I suggest a change of diet? I hear the acorns are delicious at this time of year. We're just gonna let him run? I have my weapon out! At least let me do something! Damn it all! We're so close! Now is not the time for regrets. These two are in need of a healer. I'll see them safely to Ralga's reach. Do you mind meeting us there? Once their injuries have been treated, we'd better tell the Resistance soldiers what happened. Sure, I'll meet you there. Even though it looks like we're all gonna walk back together. We already started walking, so like what I do, just like stop and be like, well, gonna mount up. Or did I run ahead? Ah! How clear the night sky is. Kind of pretty. Something like definitely blasted a hole through there, right? Like, I don't think stuff naturally makes that kind of curve. Wait, where's the moon? There.
I don't know where I was going. I was definitely not looking at my screen. Losing all that stock is a better pill to swallow, but we're lucky they didn't take our lives as well. I thought I could handle whatever ruffians the desert might throw at us. Some escort I turned out to be. We didn't even, like, actually get to introduce ourselves to her, but we just kind of, like, got thrown into the shit. Well, I'm glad we made it safe- made it to safety without any more trouble. Those bandits wouldn't dare step- step foot in this place. Ah, how rude of me. I never asked your name. Or how you chanced across us, for that matter. Hi, I'm Kira Mickey Parfait, Warrior of Light. Uh, I think your dad sent me here to find you? Oh, grandfather. That's right. Oh, that's right. It was the main guy. He's just like, I might look. My relic's really important, but I'm more worried about my sweet granddaughter. Came all the way from Tulial at my grandfather's behest? I can't tell you how grateful I am. As for the highwaymen, they possess the Steel Hog Vessel, a treasure from my village. Not only does it grant protection from harm, it also produces a potent blast when the barrier is dispelled. As long as our enemies have the vessel, attack at close quarters will be extremely risky. Although we say in my village, cracks form in even the mightiest of shields. Knowing this, we are careful not to rely too heavily on its power. But now that the Steel Hog Vessel has been stolen, the selfsame power is being turned against innocent people such as yourselves. I only hope you can forgive me for allowing this to happen. Oh, she is really sweet! I like her! There's nothing to forgive! If anything, we should thank you for coming to our aid! That shelter feed and his lackeys have a lot to answer for. Indeed, we'll give the Resistance our testimonies, and with any luck, the information will go some way to clapping those bandits and irons. I'll go with you. The soldiers here need to be warned about the vessel. No, no, leave that to us. We'll relay what you've told us word for word. After all, you need to move quickly to have any chance of getting your artifact back. When you catch those robbers, give them one from me. Wow, a surprisingly really nice merchant, considering the fact that you probably came from Ulda. How about you, Kitameki? I hope I can count on you to be there for whatever else comes next. Yeah, sure, I got you. <laughs> I knew it. I sense you're eager to get started, but I need time to plan our next move. Bandits aren't known for being found easily. I was surprised to see a fellow Mumul Ja among them. Can't imagine why Kakul Ja would work for shelter feet of our people. You do know each other! What's his deal? Who's he? Are you friends? Foes? Frenemies? Rivals? Mild acquaintances? Bandits abound! Though hers is not the easiest face to read, Seetal Jaw's expression suggests she has vital information to share. Uh-oh. Doing. What else he doing? Inameki, I heard something that might help us. One of the soldiers has been contending with the same bandits who stole the vessel. I'll go find him. Give me a moment, would you? I don't like this headpiece. Sorry to keep you waiting. When she told me she'd been sent an assistant, I never guessed it would be the savior of Al Amigo herself. Something of a local celebrity, I take it. Oh yeah, that was a whole thing. It was a war. Two wars, really. Two but one. A war with two prongs. Love to hear more about that, but for now, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. 
Yes, quite. The bandits you've been chasing are behind a spate of recent incidents in Alamigo. Look at that evil little potato. Wait, you got a row? Your Aura Potato. Nope, I was wondering if this was a racially diverse crew, but I don't see a bun or a coat. <sighs> I don't... I don't think that's a Hroth either. What's more, it appears Shuttle... Shuttle Feet is part of a larger network known as the Passage of the Unbound. Already knew that! Where ahead of you? Which is spreading its mayhem far and wide. In particular, they've been carrying out raids on caravans heading here from Gadania. We've increased patrols along that route, but the bastard strikes so quickly that they've usually made good their escape by the time aid arrives. On the rare occasions we've caught them in the act, they use some kind of device or magic object to deflect our arrows and send us sprawling. That'd be the artifact. That's the Steel Hog Vessel. It was stolen from my village, you see. Sorry for all the trouble it's caused. The one who took it, Shuttlefeet, has said something about using its power to help the oppressed and destitute. What do you think he meant by that? That sounds familiar. Reports say the thieves were shouting something along those lines during the other raids. They claim the merchants are overworking and underpaying their laborers. Honestly, fair. And therefore deserve to be targeted. I don't see how stealing a bunch of goods helps the workers, and there's not a shred of evidence that anyone is being exploited. If you ask me, they're just in it for the money. In any case, their reasons won't matter a jot once they're behind bars. Yeah, for claiming what they're claiming, they are doing things kind of weird. But for that, we'll have to catch them first. The most recent incident occurred near Porta Pretoria, one of the waypoints on the road to the palace. If you want to know more, you'd better hear it straight from the commander there. Anyway, I'll send word ahead to let her know you're coming. Assuming you are, that is. Oh yeah, sure, we'll go over there. Yes, of course. Much appreciated. This sounds like a promising lead. The soldiers here were good enough to explain the lie of the land around here. I shouldn't have any trouble making the journey by myself. See you there. Why don't I just, like, take you in my car? And we'll... Okay, you know what? No one ever wants to ride in the car. There was that one time in one role quest where our friends were like, Yeah, we're all gonna mount up together and head out. And that was great. No one ever wants to do it again. I won't anyone be friend. You know, walkins are suckers. I think we found the right person. Though well, it's rather difficult to tell who's who with those matching uniforms. Hi! You're both here. My colleague at the Reach has told me everything. I can confirm that we've had several sightings of Shuttlefeet and his gang in the recent days. They've even taken to ambushing our patrols! Whereas most brigands would flee from armed and, arms armed and armored soldiers, the slot seems to take pleasure in goading us into attacking. The treasure they carry makes them invulnerable. I also emit a devastating blast, but that's only effective at a short range. But the feed wants you to wants to draw your soldiers into close quarters, because there they stand no chance. Well, that explains their uncommon boldness. Thank you. This information will go far in helping us contend with the bandits. Uh sorry to interrupt. Oh, merchants, hello. Who might you be? Garulus Trader. Oh, 
simple peddlers, my good lady. I myself am of a Gridanian stock, and after learning my craft in the markets of Ulda, I now deliver all manner of finery to eager patrons throughout yours here. But enough about that. I hope you'll forgive me, but I couldn't help overhearing you mention a gang of highwaymen. Had similar tales from other traders passing through, and it seems some stretches of road are more dangerous than others. In fact, the bandits are more often seen at specific location not far from here. If you like, we can take you there ourselves. I don't know if I trust you just coming out of nowhere like this. Yes, by all means. This seems sussy as fuck. Wait, Kiramaki can take care of herself, but I can't allow any more civilians than necessary into an area believed to be teeming with bandits. Seems I've no choice but to ask you to go without me. Sorry, but if those highwaymen did turn up, I wouldn't be much good in a fight. While you head off to investigate, I'll see if there is any more information to be had here. Oh, she's not even a fighter. Okay, it's all us here. You're here for moral support, got it. And it's settled. I shall leave our newfound friend in your capable hands. Oh, what? Oh, um, if you say so. Um, I suppose we should be on our way then. If we do run into those highwaymen, you'll protect us, right? You should be asking a tank for that, but sure, I'll help you out. I'll dance on their corpses. That's as fuck. One's headed, your One's headed your way now. You know what to do. What? Unacceptable. Either you do this without my help, or I'll find someone else who can. She has a backbone for once. <gasps> Is this Mr. Hofty Hyman? Hi Highwayman? Hofty? Hofty? Hofty Highwayman? Is that him? What? Unacceptable. Either you do this without my help, or I'll find someone who can. Show some backbone for once. It's definitely him. The hair should have gave it away. There's only so many hairs in the game! As luck would have it, my fellows and I have yet to be assailed by any bandits around here. Then where the fuck is your merchandise? Perhaps if the other caravans invested in some proper escorts, they wouldn't be such easy targets. If you encounter the highwaymen, I trust you'll exercise some degree of restraint. We can't interrogate the suspects if you reduce them to a bloody pulp, though, can we? Just put them on their arses and leave the rest to us. Oh, she knows I would commit a heckin' murder. Thank you. I, re I appreciate the respect. I'll see if they can tell me anything more about Shuttlefeet and his gang. Be careful out there, won't you? It's him! You're in danger! Uh. Oh, well. Alright, let's go, Novichiel. You and me. Dance partner is a bird. Ah, did you hear that? Those balls must be my generation. Let's not tell you too long, huh? We're almost there. It's, it's just on the other side of the gully. It's, it's all the same view. We'll wait here while you go on ahead. This is already more than close enough for my liking. Well, uh, keep watch here. If we see anything suspicious, we'll be sure to scream. Oh no, it's purple. I'm about to get ambushed. Follower, fight me, nerds. We 
please stop. I have no more bones to break. I mean, I'm sure I could find some more bones to break. You just don't know that you have them and how small they are. What? We're back. Um, I mean, <clears throat> welcome back. Yes, that's it. He beat them! Uh, all of them? How very fortunate! Well then, uh, uh, I'd best contact the boss! I'm sure he'll want to know all about this! No doubt he's still talking to your friend and the commander. They'll be glad to hear you've come to no harm! You'll never guess what, boss! She chanced a lot of them! Uh... Yes. Understood. Not quite sure why, but he said he'll be here in a jiffy. Is it true? You beat them all single-handedly? I mean, it ain't that hard. They were weak. Gods be good! I'm glad you're on our side. Anyway, I'll take it from here. My, my, my. Very impressive. And how jolly convenient for those villains to appear exactly where they thought- where we thought they would too. But above all, I'm glad no one was hurt. Well, no one important, that is. I'm relieved to see that everyone's safe. Must have taken a lot of courage to bring Kirameki here, knowing that danger could be lurking around every corner. Are you sure you're all right? Putting on a brave face for our benefit, there's no need, I assure you. <laughs> no, we're fine! Couldn't be better! Well then, I'd say that's enough excitement for one day. We'd best continue on our way to the Alamegan Quarter. Where's the sell deals to broker? That sort of thing. Where's your chokeable carriage? Where's your merchandise? I dare say it'll be some time before any ne'er do wells have to, the gall to descend upon this neck of the uh, desert. And as for you, my friends, I'd advise you not to stray too far from the beaten path. You know what's good for you. Ta ta! Nothing left for us to do here, so let's head back to Porta Pretoria. Are you sure the commander didn't get beat up? Someone else is fighting them. I want to know... Hold on, I need to see where somebody is at. They're talking about throwing hands. Yuck, I don't... I think they're ahead of me. Alright. Beetle Jaw, hello. Well, that was all very strange. One moment they're helping us apprehend criminals, and the next they're racing off to peddle their wares elsewhere. Which it certainly are a busy lot, aren't they? Not that I'm complaining, of course. With those suspects in custody, I'm sure the Resistance will be able to wring some valuable information from them. Or it was all a trap because those merchants sure as fuck didn't have any merchandise on them. I expect all that ringing will take a while, though. It looks like we've been given an opportunity for a little rest. We certainly earned it. I still don't know how their shit got stolen. Unless I forgot, I'm not sure. All right, anyway, off to Kugane on Dragoon. Ah, 
drop the bottle cap. Okay, where are we going? Oh, right, to uh, Shio Shiokaze? Yeah, Shiokaze. Hostelry. Whee! Why walk when you can jump? Hi, sir. Welcome to Shiokaze Hostelry. How may I serve you? I'm looking for somebody. I'm searching for someone. Matter of fact, I do distinctly remember seeing a Viera woman of that description earlier. But I'm afraid I could not tell you where she may be now. My deepest apologies that I could not assist you further. I wish you the best of luck in finding her. Hi, uh, Mr. Sir Drinking. You've got an awful lot of bottles to yourself. Have you seen a Viera woman? That asked some Tyrol, was it? Sorry, can't help you. That reminds me, though. I heard Tyrol has its own local variety of spirits called Mezcal. I've been meaning to taste it myself for an age now, but you've no idea how hard it is to get... How it is to get... How hard it is to get one's hands on a bottle of it here. Oh, that's a Pelu Pelu uh, opportunity right there. Tell me, have you had a taste of Mezcal yes? yourself? Yes, yes I have. Can you describe its flavor, smell, texture? Come, you be merciful, I must have a cup! This dude's got his priorities straight. I don't know about anybody else, but he seems alright. Gotta go upstairs, huh? Whee! That was a little off. I gotta work on my jumping backwards skills. I'll figure this shit out. Hi, Ataka. Hello. The arrow woman bearing a bow? Why, yes, I do recall such a person. It's hard not to notice her, really, given how she was peering at every little thing. If she comes, if she came from the distant lands to the west, no doubt Kagan is quite the unusual sight for her. With any luck, she'll be where I last saw her, in the vicinity of the Sekisegumi uh, Sek Barracks. I should know how to pronounce that, I just fucked it up. No doubt she'll be grateful to have someone familiar with our city and customs at her side. I only hope you can find her. There we go. Itoka-esque woman? Yep, that seems right. Simply too large for me to cover alone. Perhaps it's time I return home. Hi, are you Itoka? Come to aid your search, Itoka. Itoka? Question mark. Let's not be weird. Um. Yes, I am she. Or. Hi, um, your friend sent me here to go look for you. I see. Shepia always was a worry wart. Won't well, deny I appreciate the help, though. Certainly the whereabouts of the cocoon has been no easy task. Imagined I managed to secure room and board in this lodging after arriving in Kugane, and I've been using it as a base to track down the thief ever since. I'll tell you all I know. To an eyewitness from my village, the thief is a middle-aged Huron male. That's all we have to go on regarding his appearance. This is the cocoon. He can be anyone and anything. Elderly woman traipsing along the street. A child throwing a ball. The dog chasing after it. Oh, that was Nightwood's end trying to find him. This until I discovered a series of unusual squabbles have been occurring around the city. After investigating these incidents, I found one commonality. The instigator in each case invariably had no recollection of the incident, let alone inciting it. More eerie accounts have begun to circulate among the residents. Some folk claim they've somehow been seen in two places at once. On this, I believe that thieves been using the Dreamweave cocoon to transform into innocence and spread discord throughout the city. Wow, one of these idiots is actually doing their job? And the reason why we can find him by following the trail of chaos left in his wake, no? 
Yet, should we apprehend him in whatever form he's hidden himself within, there's nothing to stop him from feigning ignorance. Besides a secret remedy, of course. The recipe for an elixir which can forcibly remove the cocoon's enchantment has been passed down in my village for emergencies like this. I made sure to prepare a few vials before making the voyage here. Simply throw the solution of the suspect and the cocoon's weave of mimicry will unfurl on the spot. That covers everything. Now, what say we see if there's any trouble afoot? The thief will undoubtedly not be far from it. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll catch him together. Hey, I feel like we've done something really similar before. Oh, with the Fae? No, with the Sylphs. They took that quest out, though. Ready to set off, then? Perfect. Say we begin our search with the markets. I recall a great number of people gathering in the Rakuza district, I believe it was called. Itoka's now following us. Oh, okay. We're doing this. Alright, sure. You wanna know what the Rakuza district's about? Because I don't know if you do. Let's talk about cities. I think that all this was wrought by mortal hands. Remarkable! My people have ever lived in harmony with nature, but that doesn't mean we condemn the ways of those who choose otherwise. In fact, the, in the brief time I've been exposed to settlements like this, I kind of see such places have their merits too. Where are the days my people leave the shelter and bounty found beneath the forest spells? I was speechless when I first laid eyes on Tuli Yolal, a city with as many people as trees in the forest. Kugana is no less dense. Yeah, there sure are a lot of people here, that's for certain. Alright, we got a point of interest right over here. Look, you thieving whore, son! I told you this isn't enough! But sir, that cannot be right. I'm sure I gave you your change in full. Enough! Hand over my money or I'll take it by force! The customer is suspicious. The clerk is suspicious. Let's keep watching. I feel like the criminal is the one who already left and was posing as the customer, but let's keep watching. Obvious? No one gets so worked up over a handful of coins unless they're looking for trouble. Uh, you don't know people. Reveal yourself, villain! I told you! That's not him. What in the blazes do you think you're doing? Uh oh! Sorry, very, very sorry. <sighs> oh dear. Thousand apologies again, sir. I gravely miscalculated your change. I will return what you are owed immediately. I beg your forgiveness. He really jumped the gun there. I apologize for the disturbance. A dreadfully embarrassing. Uh, it doesn't quit after a single arrow misses its mark. It's not to dwell on what's done and instead focus on our next course of action. Let's see how things fare on Koganidori. You need to understand that, like... People here at Enold are all about that money. Now we got two things. 
Is the one over here going to be the same? Probably, right? Let's double check it, just to be sure. Talk about cities. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's the same. I already read that. Okay, if I do this... Whee! Yep, she just teleports over. Great, perfect. I can still keep being a dragoon. Oh! Rana, what are you doing here? Oh, Kitameki! Aren't you a sight for sore eyes in these far-flung lands? I trust you're still dancing up a storm these days. Literally just did. How fair are you of late? These are dark times, but the show at the Mujikosa goes on, and so I continue to take the stage and dance. Of course, I worry for my homeland of Ratsat Han, and yet the people of Kuga Kugane too require succor. My dancing can keep spirits high amidst all the uncertainty, and I have done my duty as a dancer. Besides, rumor about the town has it that you're, you've been somewhat of a regular presence in Thavnir of late. So what well, was true? Thank you, Kinemeki. Knowing that, I, I would continue to do whatever I can... can't... Ah, sorry. Hold on. Knowing that, I would continue to do what I can for those around me, taking comfort in knowing that my home is in good hands. Alright. Now I'll talk to you, Toka. Talk about the sea! I can't believe how va impossibly vast it is! My jaw dropped when I first saw it. I could hardly fathom where the horizon ended and the sea began. Before arriving in Tuliola, I'd imagine the sea to be merely a larger, saltier body of water than the lake back home. There we would face, there we would erase from shore to shore. To attempt the same here, I fear it would have fatal results. Yeah, don't don't swim in the ocean for that long from one end to the other. That's it's possible, but boy, is it hard, and you definitely gotta take breaks. Are those the people we're gonna look at? Because it looks like two people arguing over there. A little foggy, in it? I'll cut you down where you stand, you lecherous lummox! Guess those were just people, because we're going around the corner. She's gonna misunderstand again and, and, like, waste all her vials, isn't she? What is going on here? The big bloke yonder allegedly laid his hands on that grizzled fella's woman. Afraid this may come to blows. G g calm yourself, man! I've not done what she claims! You dare insult to in add insult to injury by calling her a liar? Ignore him, I told you! That pig defiled me! Cut him down this instant! No way- there's no truth to her words. Wherefore does she spout such rubbish? I like how they're showing off the, um... Five o'clock shadow option that they've now enhanced in the new graphical update. Hey, give me strength. Cut the bloody brute down already! Yes, not less than your head shall serve as penance for your crimes. Very well, let my blade prove my innocence. Oh, she looks evil. You could just be a bitch, though. I it's her, right? Get her! Oh! That's no woman! That really necessary? No matter, I will go- I was going weary of this petty fa farce. It's time I moved on to bigger and better things. Dragoon him! 
him! Jump him! No, you don't! Get him! Get him! Shoot the bastard! Oh, you... He's fine. He's not fine. Poor little fella. <laughs> that poor little Namazu. You're getting help! Got away. Girl, we need to work on your aim. Good. Or is my bow is more out of tune than I realized. You want me to jump him next time? I will jump on him. Sweetheart! Is it really you? Oh, thank the Kami, you're safe! Found her lying unconscious in a nearby alleyway. You could only vaguely recall being attacked from behind before losing consciousness. The villain knocked her out before assuming her visage and employed to deceive her husband. I fell for the deception like a complete and utter fool. I do not even know how to begin to make amends. There are no amends to be made. He simply acted as any husband would. Due to your involvement, this matter was resolved without bloodshed. Seki Seigumi, thank you. It is regrettable, however, that the villain managed to escape. A criminal who can change their shape at will is exceedingly dangerous. Know that the Seki Seigumi will alert the populace to this menace, and remain vigilant for any suspicious activity in the city. Turn to my lodgings. I'd like to go over where we stand with our elusive gal quarry. That just told me that there is a little smudge on my mon. Uh, right. Wanna go? Ooh, where's the Ethernet? It's so shiny now. Blows. Very nice. Whee! Predicted the thief has been using the cocoon's power of mimicry to incite conflict around the city. What he hopes to accomplish by doing so, however, is still unclear. So long as he has this power, our sole means of tracking him remains to the havoc left in his wake. A trying trail for any hunter, but I'm heartened to have a warrior like you beside me as I tread it. We'll catch him together, and when we do, we'll met out the justice he desires, Kitameki. Okie doke. Sea of Blood. I totally forgot that was only the first part of the quest. Itoka is eager to continue the hunt. Good to see you, Kitameki. For better or worse, I haven't he heard about any unusual incidents in Kugane since our last altercation with the thief. There may be a reason for that. Remember when he claimed he was moving on to bigger and better things? If we're to catch him, we may have to expand the scope of our search beyond Kugane. Yet, he traveled all the way from Tyrol to this eastern land for a reason. And I can't imagine he'd go too far. You know of any other settlements nearby? Doma. Look to the Ruby Sea. The Ruby Sea is dotted with settlements, that's true. People live out in those waters? But they're so vast! Who would we even begin? Not with the underwater people, probably, because I don't think he could go- Oh, no, wait, he could go down there. He could just turn into something that can breathe underwater. 
And then he could cause a bunch of shit in, like, Sweet Osato. Ah, so the Bakufu has an outpost at the Re Ruby P Price? Sounds like a perfect place to start. Let's make our way there and avail ourselves of the soldier's intel. If anything out of the ordinary has occurred, no doubt they'll be aware of it. Shall we? Toka is, but okay. Uh, Ikaruga, hello. Oh, this is unexpected. What brings you to the Ruby Price? We're looking for a shapeshifter. Buttes. Strange you should ask. Not even a moon ago, the waters of the Ruby Sea were poised to turn into a sanguinary shade. What happened? Please, tell us everything. Confederate skiff approached the Ruby Price without authorization, and its occupant began hurling insult after insult in an obvious attempt to provoke us. We did not succumb to their provocations, however. After warning the vessel we'd fire if they drew an ilm closer, they withdrew without a word. However, should they attempt to provoke us again, we will not display the same level of restraint. The roar of our cannon shall signal their comrades to rally in full force. The waters will flow red. Of that there could be no doubt. Tensions run high. Not like this not like this has ever occurred. The Confederacy's not that stupid, and they wouldn't bring in anybody that idiotic either, especially not let them sail on their own. Information. Might we speak privately? Could we tell them that there's a shapeshifter? Or maybe the Sekisegumi should have gotten the word out? I don't know. Based on the testimony just now, I gather there's an agreement in these waters that the Confederates are not to draw near the Ruby Price, guarded as it is by Bakufu's sentries. If that's the case, then as the soldier stated, I can only conclude that the vessel earlier was attempting to incite a dispute between the two factions. Which fits the modus operandi of our quarry, wouldn't you say? It was he who sailed here under the banner of the Confederates. Whatever the case may be, we have nothing but conjecture. Solid evidence before we can alert the soldiers here to this threat. Now they'll heed our warnings otherwise. First, we need to verify if any of the members of the Confederacy actually approached the Ruby Price. You know where their base of operations can be found? Oh yeah, we'll go right now. And start over there and take a skipper. Kazuki. That's just for us to swim there. You can swim. I'm gonna fly. Or get teleported. Sure. I was like, oh, I don't see anybody else here. Hey, old man. What? Absolutely not. Not a no. Well, what of my Confederate brothers and sisters would approach the Ruby Price without authorization? Those cowardly Bakufu dogs must have concocted this baseless rumor to get a rise out of us. No Confederate would approach the Ruby Price without authorization. What are those Bakufu dogs playing at? Oh, there's Itoka. Whee! Hey, talk to her. If your comrade sailed to the Ruby Price recently? What's up, buddy? Told us the Ruby Price said that, did they? Out of my language, but that's a load of shite. I have no interest in Hingen waters. If anything, I've seen their skiffs encroaching on our territory of late. Yes, me, they're the ones thirsty for bloodshed. No interest in Hinkin Waters, but I can tell you I've seen a Bakufu vessel encroaching on our territory in recent days. 
they mean to provoke us, they're doing a good job of it. Oh yeah, he's definitely starting shit here. There you are! Listen to what this person has to say. The situation's more grave than we thought. I'm thankful you came, but not a moment too soon. Captain Rasha ain't been an actor himself, you see. Normally where he goes, Tonsil he goes, but not today. He showed up just earlier by his lonesome and ordered us to gather as many heads as able to join him on the Isle of Beko to attend some pressing business. Normally I'd oblige the captain without a moment's hesitation, but I had a feeling something weren't right, so I asked him what manner of business. We're gonna set the ruby price ablaze, he says. The bloody ruby price, as definitely not Rasho. Tried speaking some sense into him, but he weren't a mind to listen. Walked off saying he has no need of craven bastards like me. Look, I don't know what's gone into the captain, but it can't be anything good. Please go to the Isle of Beko and stop him and, and me comrades before it's too late. Sirasho acting strangely can't be a coincidence. We need to get to that island and quickly. Do you know the way? Yep, let's go. Got it. We've not a moment to waste. I could fly you in my whale! No? I have flying whales for this situation. Hello? Mount? Or a mandragore. This tower, my home. Soon, I shall be. Toka. Voices. Seems they've gathered up ahead. No oh, scum think they can encroach on our territory and get away with it? I'll be damned if we let them. Tonight we lay siege to the Ruby Price and seize it for ourselves. But what, are you sure? If we do this, we won't be just be starting a battle, we'll be starting a war! You've been acting strange, Captain. What's gone into you? Silence! I didn't ask for your bloody opinion. That's definitely him. Those lying dogs! Those lying dogs claimed it was us breaching the agreement. I say we give the bastards what they deserve. Yeah. It's definitely him. Throw the shit at him! You're not welcome here. Be gone if you value your lives. You're a terrible actor! Oh, that's not the captain! You saw through my disguise once again. Don't tell me you count even a pirate captain among your acquaintances. Oh, I do. We're friends. Kind of. Friends enough. Acquaintances. What are you trying to accomplish? Why incite such conflict wherever you go? Why? Sorry to disappoint you, but contrary to the passage of the Unbounds prattling about freeing the world from the tyranny of government, I have no grand designs. Oh, he's not doing his job. I wish merely for everyone to show their true faces. Folk love to put on airs of sophistication and virtue, but push them towards the edge and their masks slipped off to reveal the monsters underneath. They'll go for their neighbor's jugular to save their own skin. You've seen it for yourselves. It's quite the spectacle. Shoot him! Get him! Girl. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss! <gasps> that poor dude. You didn't aim better. Do you want me to do it? Should I come on my bard? 
Damn it, the ones are too strong. You're not very good at this. And you're gonna keep sucking at it for another few quests. A man of a thousand faces is a true menace indeed. I'll return to Onokoto forthwith to alert the captain. I'm sure the Confederacy will be keeping a close watch over the Ruby Sea. I didn't think for a moment he was an imposter, and the lies he spouted about. The Bakufu soldiers were enough to make my blood boil. But think what would have happened if you had not been here to stop us. God bless you. Wants us to expose people's so-called true faces? You would use the cocoon for such a petty cause. Unthinkable. Return to Kugane for the time being. Sure. I'll meet you there. I think my favorite is still the, um, the healer one, because that, <laughs> that lady and her little potato friend, they are bad shit. I love them. <laughs> and I'll leave a bastard like that. Uh, forgive me. I find myself once more disgusted with that villain each time we see him. I think all this is driven by small-minded spite. When I can gauge, he didn't fly towards Kugane during his escape. I believe he seeks a new settlement to terrorize. Now that the Confederacy and I are acquainted, I'll see if they can't help me sniff out his roost. No doubt where there's smoke, he'll be there stoking the fire. Suppose I'll use this period to tend to my bow. Next time my arrow will fly true. Cool. And now... Now that that's done... Head on back over... To Tuliolal for some success. Hmm? I see top. All right, we got three side quests to do. Pelu pelu peddler, low. Special orders, special deliveries. The pelu pedal peddler has no clue how to navigate to Leonal. Oh, I'm in a pickle! Can't exactly deliver the order if I'm lost now, can I? Curse these twisting streets! You there, with your decidedly unflappable composure. You know your way around these streets, yeah? Could you pay a visit to my customers and let them know I brought their orders? Sure, who are your customers? Brilliant! Now I'll be looking for two different houses in the resplendent quarter. First has a deep blue and yellow walls with feather decorations that hang from the eaves. The man who lives there is a very eloquent Hanu Hanu. Blue, yellow, Hanu Hanu. The second home is the second is home to a rather voracious moblin. You're looking for sky blue walls with a yellow roof. Oh god. Uh you know what? It'll be in the chat log. Sky blue walls with a yellow roof, a storehouse, and a decorative vase is out front. Remember, the Hanu Hanu's house has deep blue and yellow walls, and the Moblins has sky blue walls with the yellow roof. Just let them know I'm here, will ya? I will try. <laughs> Can't guarantee it's gonna go well, but I will try. Um, um, um. Oh. 
Oh, ooh. A sightseeing spot. Mind if I do. The resplendent quarter! Although seemingly uniform in appearance, a closer look at these domiciles reveals the eclectic adornments added by the residents, the decorations emblematic of each inhabitant's land's origin. Land of origin. If Tuliolal were a giant bird, then these richly colorful homes would form its resplendent plumage. Lovely. I think it's this one. Nice looking home, though. Yeah, this is outside the search area. Uh, but there's a dude here. Precocious Mamu Jaw. Oh, it's a little child. Hello, small child. How are you? Painter on the hill. The precocious Mamu Jaw is looking for a grown up she can trust. Um, hey, lady. Will you help me? Earlier today, I got a pretty painting of the city from a Shidona painter. And I showed it to my mom, and she really likes it. Then she sent me to deliver this fruit as a thank you gift. But now the painter isn't here anymore. And I don't know what to do. Can you let me look around? Sure. Yay! Okay, so the painter was going to make one more picture. Like this. Oh, you're definitely high up. So whenever we can see this view, that's where we'll find him. Let's go find that painter. The picture shows the rooftops and harbor from above, so it must have been taken somewhere up high. You gonna follow me? Yep. All right. <laughs> We've now got a little baby. Speak with the precocious mumble jaw. You know why they call it the resplendor? Resplendent quarter? It's cause all the different colors of the houses look like the feathers of pretty birds. Uh, that's what my mom said. Sure, kid. Alright. Need to go up. Oh, I was gonna jump and then I realized I am no longer a dragoon. Whoopsies! Oh, you have a yellow roof, but there's not a lot of vases outside. Oh, actually, no. Oh, this is it. Voracious Moblin. That's kind of vases outside, yeah? Hello, is this you? Did you order stuff from a little Pelo Pelo dude? Ah, special order of mold flowers here at last. Now I shall have all the ingredients to crafty bake loaves of rut bread. Ew? Heard of mold flower? Mixy blend of wheat and my mycotoxins with the sweet stink smell. In earth and sheer, all breads and cookies are crafty baked with it. Oh. With mycotoxins. Are we gonna turn into mushrooms? Essential element of traditional mobby cuisine. I don't really want to eat moblin food anymore. Since stingy shopkeepers of Tuli Yala refused to stock it, my only option was to bulk buy with a Pelu Pelu goods bearer. Now to go back and bring back my package. Many thanks to kind Lowlander. Oh, we found one. Up you go, you got uppies. We're looking for one with a bunch of feathers. Are these feathers? Could be feathers. Oh, Lena Holly. And there's an eloquent Hanu Hanu right there. Oh, visitor, come in and enjoy a moment of respite from the sweltering heat. Hello, eloquent Hanu Hanu. Did you order something from a Pelu Pelu? Dear me, you mean to say my package has arrived? I had some dried reeds imported from Okanu, you see. Ordered them as soon as I heard the crops had recovered. Well, I may live in Tuliola now. I always keep my homeland close to heart. To a Hanu Hanu like myself, there is no greater comfort than the smell of reeds when I walk through the door. Speaking of which, I had better go fetch them, hadn't I? There are a few areas that could do with a bit of touching up.
I would love to figure out where to get the same view. Except it's fucking foggy. I think we want to be higher up. Boy, would it be easier to figure out where to get this view from if it wasn't fucking foggy. Ah, there we go. Stone of Peter. I was like, it's somewhere around here. Bun boy. Greetings, traveler. Oh, and I see you've brought the little bum old jaw from earlier. I was looking all over for you. My mom said to give you this as our thanks for the pretty painting. Came all this way to just to thank me with a snack? Far too kind, little one. A little more than a doodle. It was rewarded enough by the smile on your face. I take it you're here as her chaperone, then. Thank you for looking out for her. Hey, you're welcome. He's pretty. <laughs> but a lot of the bun boys are pretty. This town has a special place in my heart. We Shitona are a long-lived people. I had the good fortune of watching the community sprout up from nothing. I used to think this country would never amount to much, but... All these vibrant cultures thriving alongside one another in harmony? I wish to immortalize its beauty with what talent yet remains. painting forever and ever and ever. The voice is really funny. I'm sorry. It's amusing me. <laughs> it's an honor, little one. Now, seeing as I finished my current painting, I think it's time I found a new vista to admire. I hope you I hope to see you around, friends. about how pretty our town is. I feel like I learned something today. Here, you can take your, your sketch back. Thanks again for helping me find the painter, lady. I'm gonna take good care of this picture that I will. But before you go, here, this is for you. You give me some of the snacks? Oh, you're, you're, you're a sweet child. Thank you. A shrimp cocktail? You were just walking around with a shrimp cocktail? Okay, sure. You know what? I'm good with that. Oh, she gave me two. Evain shrimp poached in court bouillon broth and served with cocktail sauce for dipping. The tartness of the lemon helps to balance the spice. Here's my thing about cocktail sauce. Sometimes they put horseradish in it and I can't eat that. So like cocktail sauce is like very hit and miss for me. It's either I can eat it or it's gonna make me sick is no in between all right anyway time to break my knees ah! uh. oh. buddy See, you managed to find them. Thanks to you, the packages have safely reached my customer's hands. Uh, pause? Pause? In the meantime, I've been browsing Bayside Bevy. 
Shops here have all the common, most common daily necessities, along with a variety of goods from other far-flung corners of Tyrell. But Tuliolal is a melting pot of cultures with their own unique needs, and sometimes the limited selection here doesn't cut it. That's where we come in. As peddlers, we travel to those distant locales, buy their most sought-after goods, and deliver them to the residents here. For a price, mind. Speaking of travel, did you come here from Eorzea by any chance? I've yet to venture out there for import goods, but one of these days, I might just have to make the trip. Oh, and before I forget, your fee! Well, that's very kind of you to actually pay me. I wasn't ex- Oh, I guess I kind of expected it, but like, you know. They're so nice! Imagine actually paying people. I guess I could have teleported over, but too bad. I was thinking about this drum up here because when I was watching somebody start this earlier, um, they saw something that I never got to see. They do something different here, depending on if it's day or night. And when we went up here, it was daytime. So if you come up here during nighttime, oh wait, maybe it's the wrong spot. No, it's right here. Yeah, yeah, it is here. So long to run up here. Play at night time. Oh no, they're not doing it. Wait, where's the one that they're drumming? Oh man, maybe it's a different spot. He saw he, he when he was looking at the uh, when I was watching someone else when they were looking at a drum. I thought it was this one, but they were like actually drumming it. I was like, cool. Maybe it's somewhere else. Guard drum major. Oh. Hello? Speaking of the drum. For whom the drum beats, the Landsguard drum major has lost track of one of his drummers. Breathtaking, isn't it? I wager you'd be hard pressed to find a more majestic drum anywhere. Alas, exposed as it is to the elements, it requires a lot of upkeep. Which is where we find the fife and drum corps come We was is where we of the fife and drum corps come in. Speaking of which, what's taking him so long? Hey, you strike me as the dependable sort. If I need trouble you to find our new recruit, he tasked me with handling today's inspection. Given how long it's taken him, it's possible he ran into trouble. But I'm supposed to be supervising things here. Check behind the tower and you should find him. Oh, he was tasked with handling today's inspection. I was like, something about that red weird. My subordinate should be on the south side of the tower. Hopefully he hasn't run into any trouble. Whoa, are you upstairs? Are you up? Because I'm down. You're not here, so I'm assuming you're up. Oh, oh. Ooh, fresh face drum. <gasps> I hear drumming! Are they doing it? Maybe it just wasn't nighttime enough. drum for a clear sound yep a clear a clean drum for a clear sound love that it actually makes the drum sound too super cool all right i'm supposed to talk to you now uh can i help you wait the drum major sent you? Oh, gods be good, I've wasted too much time! I already finished checking the drum in the tower, mind you, but I just had to go and drop my tools, and now I can't find them! 
You help me look? I could really use a second pair of eyes right now. What do they look like? Keys, won't you help me look for my drum inspection kit? Must be around here somewhere. I don't even know what the fuck that looks like, dude. You gotta give me a little more info to go off of. Bruh, homie, dude, sir, my man. I was like, what's that shiny thing over there? Oh, it's the Aetherites, because they're all extra shiny now. drum inspection kit anywhere? Go all the way down and then it's not down there and then I like... up. Ugh. I imagine that guy's only testing like one part of the drum, but like when they need to really ring this thing or bang on this thing to like welcome home the the war parties, they get like all five of the people up there going bang, 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 and then that'll get really loud. Much more exciting. Anyway, fresh face drummer, hello. Any luck? Here is your drum inspection kit. It contains a myriad instru myriad instruct in fact it contains myriad instruments with which to test or repair a drum's condition. There you are. Oh, I'm so glad you found them. You're a lifesaver, truly. I dared to report back without them, the Major would have grilled me to a fine char. But that settled, I really must return to my other duties. I'd be most grateful if you could inform the Major on my behalf. Yep. Hi, the dude ran off. There you are. I'm told you helped our recruit find the inspection kit after we dropped it. Your generosity means more to our community than you might realize. This drum is essential for the protection and well-being of our people. Not only marks the time of day, but also honors the lands guard returning home from duty. And in times of crisis, it can be used to warn the populace of danger. That is why we must keep it in pristine condition at all times. But of course, our most common duty as the Fife and Drum Corps is to perform as a musical ensemble. It takes tremendous upper arm strength to beat a drum on this scale, and as a as major, my job is to pound our greenest recruits into shape. Perhaps I've been slacking. Before I forget, take this. You've earned it. Oh, so you're in charge of the dudes up there. Cool. Be around. We're done with our little side questies. That was a short. Um, but I do believe. There's a jump puzzle we missed. I heard- I saw the FG was talking about a jump puzzle. They have missed out on. Apparently two here. He did the one that was at the, um... Training grounds. At Hunu Lily. Hunu- yeah, Hunu Lily. But I think there's another one at the palace. We're gonna go look for that one. I wanna climb the palace. Which part of the palace? Oh. Oh, this does in fact look like a jump puzzle. Where are 
we going with this? I guess that's a skosh bit higher. It's very subtle, like you can't see the jumping spots super easily. You did this earlier? I'm doing it now! I haven't done this one yet. I did the other one twice. Once before I unlocked the sightseeing log, out of principle because I just happened to see it. And then another time after I got the sightseeing log, because I was like, there better be a spot up here. Rain, I'm gonna be mad. What do you think of the music? Wait, no whammies, no head bonk. One! Bye! Or what the fuck? I can't get up here! That was ass. no reason to change the white mage other than this is just my vacay outfit and I'm on a vacation dumping spree. Ah! I might have to change the ninja though. Head bonk there, okay. Kind of. Like, the lip sticks out so you can run into it and. is what I mean. You don't want to, like, aim too close to the wall. Oh shit, too far, too far, too far, too far! No! Why are we bonking?
Oh, this is the direction I went last time. I don't know what the other side's for, then. Other than just maybe to catch you? Fuck with you? Who knows? to where I was. That was... can't do it, we can do it on Ninja. Whee! What's that plank? Wait, can I go that way instead? Is that- or is that just the way to go? Yeah, because there's nowhere to go from there, so you kind of have to go this way. At least I wasn't all the way down. Maybe we do go up, because I think you can hug the wall for a bit of safety to get to that platform I was trying to jump to. But I greeted. The music is hella chill. Right back where we started from. Actually, cannot hug the wall here. It was a red herring. Okay, good. Okay. 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 Short jump.
hope I can climb the beginning pretty quickly. Stop it. Get up. Eee! Ow! Shh. Calm down. Don't mauled. Gotta stay calm when you're jumping. not an easy jump. Ow. Not bonk head. There's more. There's more, but let's get some pretty screenshots from up here. great and my little booby in the corner and everything all right what are we doing here what is what is going on there's two different paths I don't want one of those all paths lead to one thing Is much easier. Looks lovely. about in your secret palace fountain we go higher oh that's nice looking over there
Wait, so is there anywhere else to climb? I don't see. Oh, I'm not at the tippy top yet. I want to go on the tippy top. It's not even a sightseeing point. I don't think I did. No sightseeing point here? I feel cheated. No sightseeing. Squeenix, why didn't you put a sightseeing point up here? Just for giggles? Missed opportunity. You could have at least put one in the fountain and make everybody splash about in there. You're not sure what I'm saying, but yeah, that's it. That's all there is to do the other one. I did that one like, that was, I did that day one. I found that thing when I was just looking around the city, and I made Wuklaman and Cryo climb it with me. <laughs> they fucking cheated and teleported. Alright, I got my screenshots. You ready to break knees? You ready for the big crunch? Geronimo! Oh, the- Two parts. Didn't even take my health full down. It's not as fun as the other one. We go climb the other one and then we'll log out there. I think that's the plan. I mean, oh dear. I like breaking my knees. Okay. We're gonna climb up here, and then when we start stream next time, we're gonna break our knees. The right thing to do. This way's faster. Oh, fuck. I just realized I am gonna be doing stuff offline. I still gotta level Picto and other shit. That just means that before we log back in, um, offline, I'll just have to reclimb it again. Where you gotta be? Crap! I usually go the other way. Okay. If this is if this starts taking too long, we're just gonna log out the beach like I do like our table. It really does feel like our table now, right? Because I never see anybody else sitting there. But I'm always sitting. That's now our table at to the um Brook Evu's.
Fuck. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just log it out the beach. Like. Did I miss the Alan Wake playthrough? Shit. GDQ is going on this week. Didn't know. GDQ is happening. Bum, bum. Oh no, it's coming up soon. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. I'm gonna log out at our table, our usual table. All right, our table at the beach, right over here. It ends, it ends at his, as it began at our beachside table at the taco place. All right, that's going to do it for us, chat. Hey, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, side quests are done. Roll quest stuff is done for now until, until we level. Um, yeah, we're going to pick up. That means we're just going to pick up right off with MSQ right off the bat on Wednesday. Uh, so thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you, everyone, who stopped by. Uh, Dio, Maxwell, Neon, Echo, Darji, Ling, Ling. Any other lurkers, chatters I may have missed? Future VOD watchers as well. I appreciate all of you. Have a good night, y'all. Uh, have a great rest of your week. Or no, have a great next couple days. Because we're taking off tomorrow so i can rest my hands and my eyes and then wednesday we'll be back fresh with more msq so thank you again everyone take care have a good night oh wait let me go send you guys over to dear darji ray darjeel inkling send you guys over there have a good night everybody i'll see y'all on wednesday for msq darji inkling is playing star renegade so go say hello Spread love, spread good vibes, spread happiness, all the good stuff. You can Chirico pop at him to your heart's content or Momo clap. Whatever you want to do. Or, or I know it's uh, Pride 2 month, apparently, or something this month. Anyway, you can use the Pride emote as well. That's also there. But have a good night, y'all. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.